Hey, Peeling. Uh, this is Miss Peroni, and I am coming to you to give you some updates on the AP exam, which is still happening, um, and just to talk through some of the Fort Worth ISD things in case you have had trouble changing your password and that sort of thing. <clears throat> uh, okay, first let's start with the AP exam. So, um, first I'm going to show you where you can find this information in case you want to revisit it. So this is my AP Central, <clears throat> and mine of course looks a little different than yours, um, but you can see this is apcentral.collegeboard.org, and up at the top they have that alert about how they're supporting schools um, that are closed. So if you click on that link, This is the latest update that was from Friday, okay? Um, so there's going to be free remote learning resources and we will talk, come back and talk about that here in a minute. <clears throat> I think the big thing for you is how the exam is going to change, okay? So there will be no face-to-face -face exam administration. This will not happen. Um, instead, you will be taking a 45-minute online free response exam at home. So there is no multiple choice. There's no multiple choice. And for some of you, that may be yay. Um, and for some of you, that may be a bummer. Um, it would be for me. But that's just the way it is. So probably what we're going to have is one essay. All right. And you will be timed. Um, and we'll have more information about that uh, as we move forward, but know that this is what your exam is going to look like. And I think that this is a real opportunity that I think perhaps now more than ever. Um, I know it's just one thing, but I think now maybe if you weren't feeling super awesome about everything, now you have one really specific thing to focus on. Okay, now we don't know exactly what the essay is going to be on, However, it's most likely not going to be synthesis, the thing that we had just started <clears throat> on um, before spring break. It will probably either be rhetorical analysis or argument. And a lot of people think it's more likely to be argument simply because they can make a whole bunch of different prompts really quickly. Um, because they are going to do everything they can to ensure that students do not cheat on the exam, Okay, since you will be taking it at home. All right, um, so we're looking at either argument or rhetorical analysis most likely. We will know more by April the 3rd, okay? Um, so, and they are going to have two different testing dates um, depending on when you want to take the exam, so you will have that choice as well. Okay, so we talked about that, we talked about that. Okay. Um, oh, there is stuff, we don't need to worry about this, okay. All right, so, remote learning resources. They are going to be publishing videos that are reviewing uh, different things that you have already learned related to argument and rhetorical analysis, okay. So if you click this link, Okay. You can see that there will be free AP review classes uh, beginning on Wednesday, March the 25th. So that's tomorrow. <clears throat> um, as it says, they're optional, mobile friendly, okay, and they will be available on demand. So you can access them at any time. So even if you can't watch it at, I think, 3 o'clock tomorrow, um, no big deal. Uh, they are going to be recorded and they will be up there. So you can also revisit these review sessions as well. So if we scroll down, okay. Yeah, and especially so they're all at the same time. So if you're one of my art history kids too, like our art history dates are the same time as this. And notice that these are Eastern time, not Central time. So this will be actually, two o'clock our time. Okay. 
Um, but you'll see this is going to be talking about how an argument just bleh, demonstrates understanding of an audience's beliefs um, and those sorts of things. So this is it's going to be going over the same thing, probably with different examples. Um, and regardless of whether you have to write an argument essay or a rhetorical analysis essay, these will be useful things to have reviewed, okay? Um, and it may be things that we never even talked about, um, and that's okay. Um, it's better to hear from more people than just me. I'm not the end-all be-all of AP Lang knowledge, y'all, if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, so I highly recommend that you um, tune in and watch these and check these out. And more will be coming in the coming days too, I'm sure. And I will keep you up to date and let you know when those things have been posted. So, and where do you find those things? You find them on the YouTube channel for AP, excuse me, for College Board. Okay. So, you can see here is the um, here is their page, and you just have to scroll down. And here's the English language one, okay? Um, and I know you know how this works, guys, but click on view the full playlist to figure out whatever it is that you need. Also, um, you probably should be able to go to the videos sometime tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> So, and be able to look at those, okay? Um, but I will definitely, I will set a reminder on my phone, and I will do that right now, um, to remind you to, um, to send a reminder to you guys to let you know, hey, it's happening right now, okay? And I'm actually going to do that right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have my reminder set. And um, while I was paused, I just saw the news that uh, Fort Worth ISD is now closed until further notice, um, but the AP tests are still happening. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, so that means we have things to do. Um, and that being said, there are things that you need to do to be able to access all of our stuff, okay? So, let us talk through that. Okay, so <clears throat> first, if you go to, oh, there you are. Um, so Fort Worth ISD, uh, dot org. Nice. Um, whose desks look like that? No one's. Um, sorry. Uh, if you go to, um, this page, um, COVID-19. And then if you go to learning at home, and then there is step one, reset student password. So, um, and obviously you should be accessing this on not your Chromebook. Okay. And you have to click that maybe again. There we go, okay. So, let me make that bigger. Cool, there we go. All right, so I'm sure you've seen this before, but I just wanted to talk you through it. Okay, so, now of course you need to read all of the instructions beforehand. It'll tell you where to go and do all that stuff. Um, but the things that I really wanna focus on for you all is your username format and your password format because I think this is what is giving a lot of people a lot of trouble, okay? So, and what's not clear here is it's not S010101. It needs to be S your student ID number um, and not a 10101, okay? So it's S your ID number at stu.fwisd.org. Your password format is the first two characters of your first name and the first, First two characters of your last name. They need to be lowercase, okay? And there's no period, there's nothing in between them. So for example, mine would be K-A-P-E, all right? And then the last four digits of your student ID number, okay? So <clears throat> that should be able to get you to reset your password, all right? Now, 
Remember, you need to be doing this not on your Chromebook. You need to do it on your phone or a personal laptop, something else, okay? Now, let me go away, uh, go back here, okay? Um, and I'm going to go back here to learning at home, all right? Now, uh, shoot, okay, maybe it's on this page, okay. Then from there you can, ah, there we go. Um, you need to log on to my uh, FWISD. And this is different because, okay, cool. Um, because the old place is gone and it's a new place now. Now, if you need help with password assistance, you need to call this number. I know it's super frustrating and it'll ring and ring and ring and nobody will pick up or whatever. It's because they don't have that many people working the phones, y'all. You just have to be patient and you just have to keep trying um, because that's where we are. I know it sucks, but this is the things that we have to do and we do have to move forward. Okay, so do what you can to um, get that figured out. Okay, I don't know why it, okay, whatever, that's dumb. Okay, let me make this big. Um, okay, so, um, the new uh, MyFWSD portal is through something called ClassLink, okay? And so you go to um, fwsd.org slash MyFWSD and you sign in with Microsoft, you use your new stuff, okay? Um, and this gives you more information about it. Sometimes you have to install a browser extension um, depending on what app you're using, it's not a big deal, just install the extension, okay? Um, and, okay, it's asking you to explore the app library, la la la. Okay, I'm gonna talk you through some of this because reading that is not super helpful all the time. Um, I just poked around and found the things that I needed to find. So, does this? No, okay. Um, so, where am I going? I'm going to click that. Um, and then this shows up. Okay, so I'm already like logged in and stuff, so it's not doing that for me, which is fine. Okay. Now, what you see when you log in is everything but Google Classroom. Google Classroom was not there to begin with, so I had to go find it myself. And what do you what you do to find that is uh, open app library. Yes. And there's so many, <laughs> but you just type in, I just typed in classroom and then look, Google classroom is down there twice. I don't know what the difference is. I just clicked on this one and it worked. So, you know, do that. Um, and so that's how I got it. And you click the add button and that's how I got it to show up here. Okay. Um, and so from there, then, let's see, which one is it on? Okay. Um, it's on my out-of-network one, so let me flip that. Okay, cool. Yeah, and there is Google Classroom, okay? And so this is where this video is going to go, but I also have um, some other things that I have set up for those of you who are having trouble finding things. Okay. Um, so should you not be able to get into Google Classroom? That is okay. Um, I have a contingency plan. So this video, as many of you probably have already found, <clears throat> is on my new YouTube channel. <clears throat> and also, uh, yeah, but here I am. <laughs> um, and this is my video for um, art history last or yesterday. Okay. Um, but this video is going to go up here. I am also going to upload later this afternoon. I will be uploading uh, the vocabulary lecture because we can still do vocab. Okay. Um, and Mostly I'm worried that a lot of you are just not doing anything and we need to do something. Okay, guys? Um, I know that we are in this crazy place right now 
but the more normalcy that we can bring to our lives and the more routine, the better it will be for all of us, especially if you are struggling and uh, depression and anxiety is getting to you. Uh, it's good to do things. So we can do things like vocabulary. Um, we are going to do other things too. I think I'm going to set up something in Google Classroom so we can finish what we were doing because even though it was synthesis, whatever, it's still an argument um, and it's still useful to go through. Um, so I do have some thoughts for where we are going to go um, in the next couple of days and the coming weeks, especially now that school is closed until further notice. Um, so I hope you are all okay. And if you need someone to talk to, I'm always here. You have me. I'm right here on your phone. Okay. So let me know um, if I can help. If you just need to talk, anything, I'm here. Um, also, um, so more stuff is going to be coming from me. I will be posting videos on the YouTube channel and in Google Classroom. Um, and we're going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out because I can't, I can't not work, y'all. Um, I have to do something. So here we are. We're going to do this. Um, so let's turn this all to our, let's make the best of this. Uh, the AP test is now just one essay. This could be the best thing that ever happened. Okay. Um, so with that, I'm going to stop here. And the only thing left I have is this. Come here, Marty. Hi. Oh, no. Oh. Here she is. This is Marnie. She does not want to be on camera. Marnie. There's my dog. She has been good at taking naps and going on walks and playing with her banana toy. So, uh, oh. there we go. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So whenever I make videos, guys, I will make sure to show you this grumpy dog. Um, she clearly doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> All right. Um, I will see you later, everyone. Um, I love you and have a good rest of your day.